Well, hello friends. Today is Monday, August 19th, and I'm in some comfy clothes today because guess what I'm gonna be doing? I wanna start decorating for the fall season. And I know some of you may think, oh my gosh, it's way too early. But to be quite honest with you, I do it all for you guys. Last year I had my video come out at the end of August and I want to do that again for all of you. And I just want to help give you ideas uh, of how you can decorate for the fall season. And that's why I did a little jump start on it, um, basically for our subscribers. You guys, my friends, and, uh, and I enjoy doing it as well. So I just want to say, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So I share with you all my mess here. I mean, I just got bins, things laying out all over the place. Things that I took off everything, you know, as far as I also brought up some different pieces that I like to use. These are all my kind of summer springy things I'm going to put away. These are all my fillers I have laying over here, some over here. I think I got the mantle done, not sure. Now just starting to create the coffee table. Archie's exhausted watching me. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of work and it's one o'clock, my nail appointment is in 15 minutes. So I need to run out, get my nails done, and come back. Oh, I gotta go get some groceries too. Oh my goodness, so much to do today. There's gonna give me enough hours in the day to get all this done, but I am really enjoying myself. So I'm gonna get my nails done, probably a fall color, and I'll check back with you guys when I get home. A crazy day, it's already four o'clock. I did get my nails done. The color is called Rebel, it's a real pretty, kind of fallish sh fall shade. So, I went, ran to my mom's, got her laundry, uh, ran to Hobby Lobby, as you guys saw. Um, went to Giant Eagle, the grocery store, and now I am off to the farmer's market. I'm gonna pick up some sunflowers so it'll look pretty for my fall decor video. And, oh gosh, you guys, my house is atrocious. <laughs> I got stuff everywhere. Mark just said, he called me, because I guess I'm gonna be heading home to the pumpkin patch, because he knows there's gonna be pumpkins all over the house. I'm gonna run in and get some sunflowers and some vegetables and some fruit from the farmer's market. You see, look at me. I am in full-blown fall decor here and making dinner. I'm gonna whip up some dinner real quick from Home Chef. And it's going to be a turkey burrito skillet, so I'm looking forward to trying it everything all the ingredients are stuff that I well Mark and I absolutely love so I'm gonna whip that up I am in the currently in the middle of whipping that up so it's with ground turkey and some peppers and scallions and zucchini it's gonna be really good so here is the mess guys this is what we got going on so far still got the stuff here everything here my gorgeous sunflowers from today this is a little bit of um, my table here Again, work in progress. Not sure if I want to use the uh, brown or the uh, white kind of distressed candles, candlesticks. I totally changed out. Uh, so here is the mantle so far as of now. And I, this is like my favorite piece right here. This is just gorgeous. Here is the finished product. This looks really delicious. I have to say, I've been a fan of all these Home Chef meals so far, and I'm sure this one will not disappoint. Well, hello, friends. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, and I am packed up again, <laughs> and I'm going to head to Pittsburgh to see Giada and Morgan. Um, I'm bringing all her fall decor because last year they lived in Michigan, and we had all their uh, bins for you know, the fall season and for Christmas. So I've got, Mark came home, put the bin in the back of the car, so I'm gonna help her decorate for fall. I'm all done. Actually, I gotta complete my island yet. That, yeah, that's what I need to do yet. So I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with my kitchen island. Uh, but I'm all packed up and uh, Giada had her little appointment this morning. So that's why I waited to head out. It's almost two o'clock. I'm gonna get my stuff packed in the car and I'll see you guys in Pittsburgh. Count on my company and I will come Save me when I am falling Save me when I am falling Save my love when I fall Hi guys, actually today is Wednesday uh, the 21st and I'm here in Pittsburgh 
Morgan and I are heading out to Kirkland's and Home Goods with Giada. And I'm so excited because we don't have a Kirkland's in our area. And I um, just wanted to see if I can find something maybe from my islands here. And of course, Home Goods is right next door, which I love just a standalone Home Goods store. So I'll just uh, bring you guys along and show you what I get if I do find anything. I'm sure I will. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of as you guys can see. I had a wonderful time visiting Morgan and Giada. We had so much fun and Giada, you guys, is just so happy and cooing and smiling and just so active with us. You know, I, we just, well, I was making a little noises and she was trying to make them back. Oh, I just had so much fun. Uh, and another great highlight was Morgan and I were at Home Goods and Kirkland's, but we were checking out Home Goods and this beautiful woman came up to me and she said, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, yes. And she said, the two workers? I said, yes. She said, oh, I watch your channel. And this was in, in Pittsburgh, mind you. So I'm like, are you kidding me? I said, oh my gosh, what is your name? And she's from Weirton. She knows who she is, so hi. It was so wonderful meeting you. You guys, she was so beautiful. And she lives in Weirton, West Virginia, which is really close to like Robinson Township, Pittsburgh International Airport. Um, and it was just, Morgan looked at me, she says, mom, that is crazy. That is so wild that there's someone that watches your YouTube channel that you ran into. I said, Morgan, it happens all the time at home. I know it's really strange, but it does. My husband's like cracks up every time. And here I was shopping with Morgan. So I'm very honored. And uh, it was just a pleasure meeting you. And thank you so much. And I asked her, I said, do you comment? She says, not too often. So comment more. I love it. I love now I can put a face with the name. Uh, well, I am going to head out. We are gonna buy a gift for one of our friend's grandsons. And uh, so we're having an event for him um, on Sunday and uh, a golf outing. And so some of us girls are gonna gather some, and just pick up some gifts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna meet Kim and Andrea, my friend Andrea at Target. And then Mike and Kim, Mark and I are gonna go grab a bite to eat afterwards. So I'm gonna go take you know who out and head out the door. All right, here we are, this is Andrea. You guys know Kimmy. So we got a lot of nice gifts for Rowan, so we cannot wait to, to give these to uh, his grandpa. So I just wanted to jump on and have the girls say hello. Hi. Well, I'm at a stop sign real quick, and Mike and Kim are gonna stop over instead of us all going out. Mark's at a meeting, so he's gonna meet us home here in a few. So I stopped at our Italian market and grabbed some cheeses, some pepperoni, olives, and some wine. So it should be a fun night. It's gorgeous yes. out. So the wine wasn't good. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. <laughs> August 22nd. Archie's barking because he knows I'm getting ready to head out. I'm gonna run and get a new piece of furniture. You guys are gonna come with me, so let's go see if I can find what I'm looking for. What I have in my mind. We'll see. All right, guys, I found the table. I looked at so many, but I love this one. It's so pretty, and I, and I love the distressing look here on the bottom. So, and they actually have it in stock, so I'm gonna pick it up and take it home. Well, that was a success. So I am real excited to bring home the new table. So once I get it all set up, I'll share it with you guys. So I'll show you what it looks like with the lamp. It may be some little piece of decor. You know, I had to put something on it. It is almost four o'clock. I just completed filming my fall decor home tour 2019 for all of you. I think it turned out good, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. So, of course, um, you probably, well, if you haven't, make sure you go see it right now. Uh, but you would have already seen it because it came out on Wednesday. Uh, I really had so much fun doing this, you guys. I really, truly did it for all of you. And um, <clears throat> I normally would never de decorate this early. But you know what? Why not? My house looks so warm and cozy. 
and uh, I just thought about every one of you when I did this and I hope really really hope it inspires you to pull out your decor and make a mug of pumpkin spice coffee and light your fall candles and just get into the uh, the spirit of the season and you know people always say well goodness you're just rushing summer I love summer I really do but the fall season just to me is home it's cozy it's family it's celebrating it's Thanksgiving uh, and I really do believe that we have a blessed life and uh, for some reason this time of year just brings it all home for me for some reason because you're gathering around the table more than you normally would. Uh, again, like we said, I have football parties all the time at our house. We've got Thanksgiving, Christmas, and you know, we just spend a lot of time with family and friends and especially family during this time of year. So I just, uh, to me, I just cherish it and I'm hoping that you have the same traditions in your home too. I gotta think about what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. I have no idea. Normally, you know, we do go out on Thursdays, but since we did have some like appetizers and a couple cocktails on the patio last night, Mark and I with Mike and Kim, Mark's like, I wanna do some work tonight so that way I can get a lot of stuff done and we can really enjoy the weekend. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go see what I got in the fridge, pull out something to make for dinner, and, uh, but you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Now I can really enjoy my fall decor because that is all done. But we got a lot more fall decor, not decor, but actually I'm gonna do my front porch and my patio. I'm gonna wait until September to do that. And uh, so I'll have more future videos coming out for you guys uh, as far as uh, seasonal, uh, fall themed kind of autumn-y <laughs> videos. Well, Mark decided he came home from work. He goes, let's just you and I go out to the lake club and have dinner and some drinks and just, you know, enjoy a date night with the two of us. And I love date nights. So I'm just got, got this, actually this black shirt on from Nordstrom that I got the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm going to grab a little sweater. It's only in the 60s. Isn't that crazy? It's going to be a gorgeous weekend though in the 70s. So perfect. So I'm really glad that I did decorate for fall because the weather right now is really festive. <laughs> just perfect, beautiful, crisp, blue skies, fall kind of weather. So I'm gonna just put some perfume on and grab a little sweater and head out to the club. Friday, August 23rd. I've got my little Ray Dunn cozy coffee mug here today. It's actually in the 50s this morning, hard to believe, but it's gonna be in the 70s today. And Mark put all the stuff out on the patio uh, for me this morning so I can enjoy coffee out there, watch TV, but it's a little chilly. <laughs> That's why I actually filled this one up with coffee thinking I was gonna be sitting outside, but I'm a little cold, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, but I'm looking forward to this weekend. It's gonna be so pretty. Honestly, we don't have any plans, um, but you know, we always do something tonight. We'll do something tomorrow on Sunday. So I'm just like looking forward to tonight, seeing what the uh, weekend brings and uh, enjoying this gorgeous weather and my home. Um, it just looks so cozy waking up this morning just to see everything completed and uh, yeah. I'm all showered up. I thought, why not just get in the shower and be just done for the day? And uh, I made myself another cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get a chance to sit outside, you guys. It really was chilly this morning. Uh, so I thought, why not shower so I can really enjoy being outside today? I'm gonna do a little bit of um, editing and uh, some reply to comments. And I maybe run a few errands. I had an idea of somewhere I wanted to go. And of course, now I can't remember. I don't know what it is. You get older, you just can't remember anything anymore, I swear. Uh, but Lauren's actually on her way over. She, well, I'm sure she'll share with you on her next vlog, but she got a lot of stuff back from the company, the Diva Company. I'm sure you guys saw on one of her vlogs, she talked about the candle. Well, I'll tell you what, they really made up for it for her. So, and she's gonna share some of the stuff with me. She's gonna drop it off. And then I have a few things that I wanna give her. So I'm gonna chat with her for a little bit and uh, then maybe, like I said, sit outside, enjoy this gorgeous day, and uh, then figure out what we're gonna do tonight with our friends. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great Friday and or whatever day it is that you're watching this vlog. And I'll check in here once uh, little Orchid and I uh, chit chat for a bit. He me, he just came home, said, come on, you and I just go to lunch. So 
having a, a last night at dinner date today. I'm gonna go to Carmela's Cafe. I haven't been here in a long time, so I never actually never have been here for lunch. So hopefully I have something healthy, a good kind of a salad. We'll see. This is my lunch, you guys. It's a blackened chicken with hot peppers and oil, lettuce, and cucumbers, tomatoes, cheese. Oh my goodness, it is really delicious. I am home from lunch. It was such a nice surprise. Mark and I, oh my goodness, that salad was so good, by the way. I got home and got my mail, and these were in the mail. I forgot I ordered these from Amazon. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so pretty. Look at these, I'll link them below for you guys. So let me show you what the Deepa company sent Lauren. Well, no, she sent her, they sent her so much stuff, and this is just some of it that she shared with me. So let me show you. Look at this, you guys. Look at all these room sprays. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 different scents. And there is some kind of like a bathroom kind of stuff you can put in there. I think it's like a poopery kind of a thing, I'm thinking. Of course, the Glamour Swatch Wash, which is my all time favorite. Uh, I think another candle, another room spray, a little mini um kind of votive and these are uh hands and probably uh soap and moisturizer a little mini diva wash another little candle i'm not sure what this is i mean oh and diva mouths i mean this is like unbelievable i'm gonna be like passing this out to all my neighbors seriously and our, and our kids so I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Hey friends, it's about 5.30 on Friday. We're gonna head out. I'm not sure if we're gonna go over one of our friends' house to watch football, order in, or we're gonna go out. So, got again that Nordstrom top. Just don't tell anybody <laughs> from yesterday. This really cute sweater, since I couldn't find the one from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it was sold out, so I picked this one out. Kimi made some delicious cheese and crackers. Well, cut some cheese and crackers, made some yummy guac. Sitting outside, enjoying a, finally the sun came out today. Very, very pretty. Good morning, friends. I wanted to share my breakfast with you and happy Saturday. Got some fresh tomatoes from our local farmer's market and an egg over medium and some turkey bacon. Friends, well, it's about four, almost five o'clock. And Mark and I, I don't know if I'm digging this little thing here or not. I feel like it's just pooping up in the air. I'm not sure. I want to let the play around with it. Well, anyway, we are showered up. We're going to, I don't know, it's such a gorgeous night. So we want to go somewhere and, you know, have dinner, sit outside, maybe listen to some music. So we're just trying to figure out where we want to go and having a hard time coming up with places. But uh, he's more getting all showered up. I got this just cute black dress from uh, The Gap. And I think my, we're like my Gucci belt with it and some maybe cute beauty, beauties, booties. <laughs> and I gotta put my jewelry on yet, so hopefully you can see. My makeup, I actually just got the Urban Decay, the little mini Nakeds, I love that palette. And uh, just my uh, bossy uh, lip on and Dolce Vita, I think, blush maybe from NARS. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the light. I don't know if I'm digging this or not. I might just put it down and figure it out. So I'm gonna go get some gloss on, some earrings on, and then Mark and I are gonna figure out what we're gonna do. I gotta run upstairs and get some booties because all like my fall booties I have upstairs. Um, and it's like, you know, it's gonna be, well, it's only like 72 right now. It's sunny and really pretty, but it's gonna get really chilly tonight. So I'm gonna grab a jean jacket too, but I'm gonna run upstairs, grab my booties, and then um, decide where we're gonna go found my booty so I'm not sure if I want my belt or not I'm thinking not tonight just because I'm gonna wear a jean jacket and I just want it to be a little bit longer um, so here's my outfit here Again, it's just a basic black dress from the gap I got a long gold necklace got my little booties on because it is gonna like I say get chilly just some gold hoops and that's it we're gonna go ahead and get ready to head on out well, so I changed my shoes the, I wasn't digging the boots so I put these ones back on that I wore the other day. Um, they're not as comfortable as the booties, but uh, they look much, much better. So now I'm okay with the outfit. <laughs> and Gary and Jody just called us, they're gonna join us. Um, so we're just trying to debate where to go. We still don't know. And I took that big thing out of my hair, I didn't like it. Uh, we're either gonna go to this one place, they're gonna have some live music, or we might go to the club, I don't know. 
guess you'll find out when I find out. It's a beautiful night here at the club. Enjoying dinner with Gary and Jody. So we're enjoying a great night here tonight at the Lake Club. Jody, say hey. Hi, you guys. And remind me to show this gorgeous sweater that Jody had on yesterday that I ordered. It's going to be here tomorrow. Mine's going to be here tomorrow. You have to get it. It's the free people do. It's like exactly like the free people do. Like me talking with my and, and the quality was so stunning when she walked in yesterday to our friend Mike and Cam. It was so pretty. Yeah. Like, Jody, where'd you get that sweater? I'm gonna have it. So we yeah. ordered another color. Did you tag it? I will. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tag it. So. Just enjoying a gorgeous night here tonight. It's so pretty out. And there's Jody. It is Sunday, the 25th of August, and Mark is at a golf outing today, and I am going to whip up dinner and get it in the crock pot for us. Uh, it's going to be such a gorgeous day. I'm looking forward to just getting laundry done, maybe do some grocery shopping. We're getting our driveways sealed today, our whole neighborhood, so everyone has their cars out in the street, and uh, so I'm going to try to run, get some groceries after they seal my driveway and I shower up, but I wanted to share with you guys dinner tonight, and I think it's going to be really delicious. So basically start off with a pork shoulder and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my crock pot here <laughs> and I'm going to do a little S&P on it so I'll go ahead and get that ready. I already put some sea salt on it. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some pepper. I love pepper on my pork roast. And then next I whipped up a balsamic vinaigrette and this recipe you guys I did get from another YouTuber. I'm going to list her channel below. Um, you know how you just come across YouTube's channels, and I don't even know how I did, but anyway, she's so sweet, and I love her recipes, so I'll go ahead, and we're going to pour this right on over. Oh, this looks so good. That's it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on, and this is going to be on low for eight hours. Thought I'd share with you my balsamic vinaigrette recipe, and it is a half a cup of EVOO, and then a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, and then I added a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, um, a clove of garlic just minced up, and some salt and pepper. Looks so pretty against my fall decor. <laughs> Guys, I love finding on YouTube you know, ones that just show scenery, like of, you know, specific times of the year. And this one is just to like really pretty music and it's a fall scenery background while I am doing laundry and stuff like that. It just is so cozy. It really is. I wish I could find Hocus Pocus on right now to uh, watch it, but it just looks really pretty. I was gonna go to the pool for like one last time with Jody today and I'm like, you know what? I just wanna stay home and enjoy this gorgeous sunny day. It's gonna be in the 70s, my my beautiful home. My puppy, huh, Archie? You're gonna get a haircut tomorrow. <gasps> gonna get haircuts? <laughs> but anyway, the scenery is just really, really pretty. I love it. And again, it just makes it very festive uh, to have this on the TV opposed to just putting on some stupid show that I really don't care about watching. <laughs> I know it's dark, so sorry about the lighting. But I just love this sweet lady. I think her name is Nikki or Mickey. I can't tell. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, her name, um, her channel is My Bashful Life. She is just precious. She always does like decor videos and she'll show like a, a recipe. So I'm going to list her below. You should go check her out. Guess what just got here? Okay, remember last night, Jody and I were talking about this sweater that's like a free people dupe? Look at this, look at this gorgeous color for the fall season. Look at the sleeves, I love it. Oh my goodness, God, I love it's like a boat neck, but it's not real boaty. I don't like a big boat neck, <laughs> so pretty. I am pumped, so it's a little wrinkled, obviously. Oh my gosh, I feel like I wanna order a couple more different colors, I'm gonna get in better lighting. So you guys see the color? It's really, really pretty. I'm not gonna wear it today, because it's gonna be like 77, but 
I wanted to show you guys. It really is really cute. I'm going to link it in the description section. And trust me, you're going to want them in every color. Because I'm going to go order a few more. I love it. When I tried on that sweater, it reminded me of this lipstick that I bought last fall. I can't remember the color. I will list it below. But it's like the perfect fall shade. I, I visualize, like, you know how you visualize, like, the case? Like, what one was that? It's a Mac and I really like it. So let me show you, let's see how our roast is doing. I can't remember what time I even put this thing in this morning. I really don't remember. Ooh, looking good. I think I'm gonna put some of the juices on, um, on top just to keep it nice and juicy. I thought I'd share with you, it's actually brunch. <laughs> it's like 11.30. But I use these, I like the uh, two grams of sugar, the two good brand of yogurt, and um, cottage cheese, and I have some fresh berries, and I took some almonds and just pounded them with my little meat pounder and crushed them up. So this is gonna be my brunch before I head out to get groceries, because the last thing I wanna do is go grocery shopping when I'm starving. Well, the guys should be on my driveway next to get it sealed, so hopefully as soon as that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and head on out of here, get groceries, and uh, Figure out what I'm gonna make for a side dish to go along with this pork shoulder. I'm not sure yet, so. I'm gonna go through my recipes or just something, I wanna do something with fresh vegetables. So I think I'm gonna to go to the farmer's market, uh, probably first. I'd like to see what they have there first, just in case they don't have something that I need that I can pick it up when I get to the grocery store. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast. I'm at grocery store number two. I went to our local grocery store and they just sometimes don't have the selection of things that ours has. And of course, I forgot to go to the darn farmer's market first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find what I'm looking for. If not, I'm gonna head off to the farmer's market. I just wasn't even thinking. I was in another zone. Actually, I was gonna stop at my mom's. I had some laundry for her and she wanted me to take out her garbage. So, um, like her trash, because her, her like dumpster isn't real close to her apartment. And I always feel bad because that's a lot for her. So, all right, I'm gonna run in Giant Eagle, see if I can find something, and then I'm gonna head off to the uh, farmer's market. Jody just called me and she said that she was in Pier One, and um, a lady came up to her and said, You know what, Art, are you like in these YouTube videos or something like that? And, and Jody's like, You mean like the two orchids? And she said, Yes. She's always, she, she said, Yes. And <laughs> she said, the, and the lady, her name was Flo. Hi, Flo. Um, you know, Flo, I guess, said to Jody, I watch you all the time, you know, in the Two Orchids videos. And uh, she said, oh my gosh, Jody's like, Karen, she just knew so much about you guys. It was so sweet. So Flo, I know you just made Jody's day. And hopefully we'll get to meet you someday if we do a meetup. And I just want to say hi to you, Flo. And it was exciting to hear that from Jody. She was so excited to call me and tell me. Uh, so that made my day too. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go home, get this all this food put away, and um, just get things ready for dinner. I want to share with you guys my favorite snack. I mean, it is phenomenal. <laughs> Maybe it's not phenomenal, but it's really good when you're trying to watch what you eat and stay away from sweets. So, I get the brownie one bars right here. Let me show you. And I cut it in half. And I cut it in half. I'm going to put it in the microwave for 18 seconds. And oh my gosh, it tastes like a lava chocolate cake. All right, you guys, and it gets ooey gooey. Look at this. You see that? So it's nice and soft. Oh my God. Mm. Tastes like a chocolate molten cake. It's amazing. There you have it. While the roast is cooking up, I'm going to show you the sides I'm going to have. Actually, just corn on the cob. And the other thing I'm going to do is something I've done, what well, we've done growing up. And Mark loves it too. And it's cubanelles. And a little olive oil in a pan. Some fresh garlic. Just season it with uh, salt and pepper. And it's just such a great side dish. And cubanelles are not hot peppers or like sweet peppers but they have a different kind of a shape i don't know i just we love them we love them just as a side dish along with any kind of meat so i've showed you these again before guys so basically uh just going to heat up some olive oil and i already cut my cubanelles up took the seeds out had, those are fresh garlic pieces and then of course i got the corn all husked and i've got my water 
uh, boiling here. Oh, let me show you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this looks so good. Looks so good. It's actually, if I get a fork, it will fall apart. So, and it smells delicious. Here is dinner. So here's the pork shoulder, the cubanelles, and the corn on the cob. So I'll let you know what I think about this new recipe. It looks really good. Guys, dinner was really fantastic. That pork shoulder was delicious. Mark's like, please keep that recipe. I'm like, I'm going to. So now we're gonna sit outside on the patio, have some coffee. And out of the uh, fall box that I showed you guys on the last vlog, I got like the apple crumb cake. Just made that one. And I love these from Penzi's. This is the apple pie spice. When I share my apple pie this fall, I always put this in it. But I actually sprinkle some on my coffee. It tastes really, really good. So I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee. Um, I'm gonna just try to plan some videos for you guys. Um, some DIYs and stuff like that to uh, complete our fall series. And uh, then I want to share with you too before I end my vlog. Um, let me see three of my favorite fall shades for lipstick. I think you guys are gonna like them, so I'm gonna share those with you. And just whatever else tonight, um, we're gonna watch the Steelers are on their third preseason game tonight. So we're gonna watch that outside on the patio. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee and uh, just do some little research for. Um, I have got some ideas that I want to share with you guys. So I'm gonna do a little research and then I'll run them by. Lauren uh, when I talk to her tomorrow. So I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee with my, here hold on, sweater weather, Ray Dunn mug, which actually right now it's probably like 72, but whew, for some reason I just got really hot. Just doing all the dishes. So I'm gonna go out there, hopefully try to cool off, not be too hot drinking coffee, and then I'll check in with you guys. I'm not sure if I showed you guys at all in my vlog yet. <laughs> just how pretty all of my, I love when these light up. I think I made, did I tell you, or is this on my, fall decor video but they light up around like I have them set to go off around six and the ones on the mantel and this little one over here <laughs> so yeah they all but at the same time I think they turn off like around 10 so it does look really really pretty we were gonna watch the game outside on the patio but I'll be honest with you guys it's getting chilly so I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or not but I do want to show you my favorite fall lippies. You guys are going to love them. And they're all, you know, they've been around. Except for the one that's sort of new. I think I should maybe share it with on my last vlog. But uh, I'm going to do some swatches for you guys because um, you're going to like them. They're just so fallish and so beautiful. I love the shades. Alrighty, as promised, I told you I was going to go over some fall lippies that I'm loving. So first one is what I have on right here, and this one is the Gingerbread Man, and um, I gotta see, hold on, which one is which? Okay, there we go. And I have Gingerbread Man on right now. Uh, these are, guys, these are in stock again. So these were came out last year, and you can still get them. And I'd get them before everyone starts buying them and they're sold out. Okay, so this is Gingerbread Man, what I have on right now. And I'm gonna do a little swatchy on my hand here for you. So, you guys, these go on so nice. They stay on beautifully. Um, I love the texture of them. They're great. So here is what I have on right here. Gingerbread Man. The next is Gingerbread Girl. It's a little deeper. Let me show you. And that one's right here. So Gingerbread Man, Gingerbread Girl. Okay, and then next, I'm going to show you um, what I wore today. This was one I... I like, I, I just visualize the lipstick container. I'm like, I know I had this and it was such a gorgeous shade last fall. I think it's called Smart Sickle. I'll list everything below. This one's by MAC. Oh, it's just really pretty, 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 pretty. Here it is right here. Now this one is one I shared on my last vlog and this one is by Kat Von D and it's called Pumpkin. So pretty, oh, I love it. I wore this a lot on this vlog. So that's pumpkin right here. Okay, and then this one is like one we got last fall um, when we were in New York City. And this one is by um, Giorgio Armani and it's number 501. I'm gonna put that right here, number 501. Yeah, I see that okay. And then the last one is, um, I showed you guys this one before. It's the um, called Lion's Mane and uh, it's the the, the Lion King kind of Disney. Who the heck makes this thing? Why can I remember? I will. I'll list it. 
and here it is and it's a gorgeous orangey red because I am not a like a burgundy red or mauvey red that does not go with me at all so here it is right here so here you guys are you want to know the hottest gorgeous fall shades Carolyn's telling you right here <laughs> I love them all so much so get your hands on these because you're gonna be like wanting them and hey Fall's gonna be here, you guys, in a couple weeks. And I love the fall hues. It doesn't matter really what time of the year. You guys can see by my decor, the clothes normally like this, the colors that I wear, I love the fall hues all year round. But especially this time of year to get to wear these colors, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go finish you in some things and I'll check in um, in a little bit. Lost again, going back. It's about 9.20, watching the Steelers preseason game, and uh, gonna get ready for bed. It's been so much fun having you guys, as always, come along with me on my week vlog. I just can't say enough how much I love all of your support. Um, I just, I, a lot of these things I do, I do for you guys always in mind, and I, I really just love bringing you along to let you know my day in the life of Karen. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy my fall decor video. If, it, if you haven't watched it, I hope you do check it out. I love how everything looks. This looks so warm and cozy in here. And uh, yeah, I got a busy week ahead, but uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys here in a week. I really didn't have a living in bliss set up for this vlog, but just basically all I can say is just go out there and be grateful and blessed for all the, um, for all that God has given you and just take those blessings and um, pay it forward. So take care and until next time guys. Bye. Lost again going back.